State Assembly member and candidate for L.A. City Council Wendy Carrillo was arrested in connection with the DUI crash. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Fisher is live near Highland Park with a video of the arrest and the crash scene. Michelle? Ellen, Colleen, people who live along this street say that they have actually seen accidents here before, but they say this is the first time that it's involved an elected official on suspicion of DUI. Let's take a look at some video from overnight when this incident happened. It happened here in the 6200 block of Monterey Road near Highland Park around 1215 this morning. The LAPD confirming 43-year-old State Assemblywoman Wendy, Wendy Carrillo was arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence of alcohol after she was involved in a traffic collision in Involving several parked cars along the street. We spoke with an eyewitness who says he was visiting friends when he says his car was involved. Very loud, huge um, bang, and then heard like skirt, skidding. And there's crashes that happen right here all the time. So we were, um, we knew right away that it was for sure a car crash. Um, the, um, as soon as we looked at the balcony, you could see her Audi was in the middle of the street and airbags deployed and she was um, in there and you could see her moving and stuff. So um, that was nice. We walked down and um, asked if she was OK. She was hand gesturing like she was all good. Thumbs up and stuff. Um, as soon as she got out of the car and started talking to us, it was really clear to me as a non-expert that she um, was intoxicated, could smell alcohol. She was slurring her speech, just very impaired. Carrillo released a statement today saying, quote, early this morning I was involved in a traffic incident involving parked vehicles. Thankfully, no one was harmed, and I have been cooperating with law enforcement. As a public servant, I'm aware that I must adhere to a higher standard that demands personal accountability for my conduct, and I accept responsibility for my actions. I sincerely apologize to my family, constituents, colleagues, and staff for any actions of mine that have fallen short of that expectation. I intend to seek the necessary help and support and as I do so, I remain dedicated to my family, my constituents, and the community that I grew up in and am proud to represent. Now, Carrillo is vying for the city council 14th district seat that's currently being held by Kevin De Leon. According to jail records, she was released around 1 this afternoon on her own recognizance and is set to be back in court around December the 1st. We're live near Highland Park this afternoon. I'm Michelle Fisher, ABC7 Eyewitness News.